Hi everybody, I just thought I'd make this quick uh, video feedback to let you know about Lab One. I went over to the RMC portal, downloaded them all, and uh, marked them over the last couple of days. In general, it was really, really well done. Uh, of course, you could probably figure out that the objective of Lab One is to just get your feet wet with making some standard measurements and starting to do calculations in a lab format. It's to get you introduced to the way that, you know, we need an introduction, we need a results section, we, you need to answer all the questions in the results section, then you need a discussion slash conclusion where you're going to interpret the results, get you used to that lab pattern. Uh, I guess there was a couple of things that were challenging for some of you in this lab, however. Uh, the first one was the idea of heat. Should it be ex expressed in joules per gram or just in joules? Well, heat can be expressed either way. It's either heat for the entire component in, in joules or you can do it in joules per gram for that same component. So you just take the amount of weight in, uh, the amount of mass in that particular component and divide by it and you'll get heat in the answer of joules per gram. So you can go from joules per gram to joules in the case of heat if you multiply or divide by the mass of the component or the object in question. Another thing also, well, there's a couple of little things that we're still working out on significant figures. Uh, some people would place far too many significant figures. Remember that if you're using a balance or a thermometer and you, for example, thermometer and you read 37 degrees off the thermometer, that's two significant figures. So if you make any calculations with your 37 degrees off your thermometer, then your final answer should be expressed with two significant figures as well. Okay, that's how the significant figures that we did in assignment one really link to what we do in real life in experiments. Okay, anyway, so I hope this feedback was useful and I uh, hope you're doing well on assignment two. Hope to see that soon. Take care.